what is going on guys thank you so much for tuning in back to the channel i'm sal i'm alina and today we're going to be filming the top five best first mods that you could do to your car so let's get started we're gonna go from least important to the most fun i guess you could say number five that is going to be a drop-in air filter now whether that be a knn hks hybrid filter like the little foam piece or a full-on cold air intake you find them relatively cheap I don't necessarily consider doing this. I personally have a drop-in filter in mind. There are some cheap intakes that you can get that end up being too close to the headers, which end up actually reducing the power, which is not ideal because the colder the air, the more power you're getting. Number four is going to be wheel and tire. I think that picking aftermarket wheels, it will look way better than stock. Um, uh, also, a bigger wheel, a bigger tire, a better tire is going to help you with your traction and if you like going on the track or going through the canyons or whatever you like, it definitely helps in that department. I mean, it depends what you're going for. And there's also a wide variety of different wheels that you could choose from, like endless amounts. So many. And, so many wheels. And they all look so good. I mean, don't get me wrong, the stock wheels on these cars are really they're Prius wheels, they don't they're look Prius okay. Wheels. They're terrible wheels. Immediately, first thing you do when you get your car, <laughs> throw out the stocks. Keep them, don't listen to him. You have to keep them. Keep them just in case you get a flat or anything, but there's plenty of wheel e companies e that are that are budget friendly. ESR, Rota, I hear a lot of horror stories about Rota. Do your own research. Obviously, we, we are running Rotas on the Miata that we have. Love it. it yeah, they look so great. Nice but there's basically any kind of look that you're going for, whether it be track, stance, um, just something sleek and under the radar, there is a wheel for you. You can put that on your car and make it your own. I personally chose the Ford Star F14s and then Cell has the Barstow and ESO one. It's like a BBS rep. It's nice, it's timeless, and I really like the wheel. Unfortunately, I will be changing it out couple months me too me too but so if y'all want my wheels <laughs> if you guys want some wheels hit us up DM Best us. first mod okay number three I chose the short shifter now sometimes there aren't a lot available for your specific vehicle you can get anywhere from a long like what I have the IRP short shifter um, or you can get something that looks OEM like Alina's and it just reduces the throw by probably 25% it's nice notchy makes the driving experience way better um, your shifts are gonna be a little quicker so zero to 60 times are affected by that price range is also really good there are very very expensive ones and pretty affordable ones like the one that Sal has is pretty expensive and the one I have is very budget so there's always options out there if you're a college kid broke at home eating top ramen every day you can get one for yourself too Number two is going to be coilovers or lowering springs. Upgrading your suspension or upgrading your springs is a really good first mod to do on the car. You can, you can definitely feel the difference immediately and you'll get a, that desired look that you're going for. Also, again, uh, lots of different coilovers and lots of different pricing. Uh, the ones I have are pretty affordable. I have the TN Street Basis and those work really good for me. The spring rating is a little bit higher than stock and stock, at least the 86 chassis is- it, Already it, pretty it stiff. It already comes pretty stiff and it is made, it's a driver's car, it handles really well, but ultimately upgrading is always a better option. Sal has a way stiffer setup than me. And I have the Tanabe Rebel V2s. I love them, they're very aggressive in terms of stiffness. We're looking at about 10K all around for the spring rating. Camber and, adjustment. Yeah, full camber adjustment, um, 32 way adjustable dampening. They're really good, but they do come with a price, $1,200. Now, if you aren't looking for something like that, you could always go with what Alina got. Her system was about 500, five or $600. And if that's still too much money and you just wanna lower your car just a little bit, one to two inches, you can always get a lowering spring. Now this is gonna be a little bit harder on install. What I recommend if you're gonna be upgrading your suspension is get a coilover that is rebuildable. If you and guys don't know what rebuildable is, eventually once you hit over 10,000 miles or if you hit a bad pothole and the shock starts to leak, at that point, 
it's basically dead. If it's rebuildable, you'll be able to send it out to the company that you bought it from. They'll put all new internals inside of it and then slap it back in your car once they ship it back to you and you're good to go. Some companies like Raceland, uh, they're not rebuildable, but they are like lifetime warranty. So if something does happen, you can still get it fixed instead of having to buy a whole new one. As far as suspension goes, I'm upgrading from my TN. I'm actually getting bags from AirTech. I'm so excited. I don't have any fancy management or anything, but it is manual management and it is going to look so sick. It was such a good decision. Big changes are coming to the cars. Yeah, big changes are coming. So please keep an eye out. It is going to be one of the coolest builds for both of us and definitely something new. This is yeah. going to be Alina. That's gonna be me. And number one. And number one. That's going to be the catback exhaust system. That was always my first mod. Whenever I get a new car, I always chuck the muffler. Um, you can do this multiple ways. There's MagnaFlow. You can get a weld-in muffler. You can go to a muffler shop and they'll cut the muffler off and just put a pipe in place. That is your cheapest option. If you wanted to go for a more tuned exhaust I would say. Look at companies like Magnaflow, Flowmaster if you have an American car. Nvidia is pretty popular for the Japanese market. ISR as well. Yeah, I mean I could go on there's a bunch of different exhaust companies. Go on YouTube look up sound clips for your specific car with your specific engine because four cylinders do not sound the same as six cylinders to eight cylinders. You get the point. That is always a fun mod. Uh, you could if it's bolt-in, you could usually do it in your driveway, and it's just fun to hear your exhaust note. We did Alina's a little bit janky. It was my old exhaust, and I gave it to her. So I went to a muffler shop and asked they, them to cut out the piece of the mid-pipe and weld in an aluminum pipe. So they took out the resonator, so there's a lot of rasp, and the muffler is not connected. It still looks like it is. We're going to put in some sound clips of what we have. <laughs> running a Tomei unequal length header, a Tomei overpipe, NVIDIA catless front pipe, and an NVIDIA N1 cat back exhaust. So, and I'll show you what that sounds like right now. Anyways, that is all guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments or questions, put them down below. We'll be happy to answer them for you. If you guys aren't already following us on Instagram, it's at 86 goals. We post daily there, um, or at least we try to. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment below what you liked, what you didn't like. If you agreed with our list, if you disagreed with the list, put it down below. Upload dates are on Tuesday, so keep an eye out for our new video. That's when they drop. We'll catch you next time. Slap the camera. We'll catch you next time. Ha. Bye.